I've landed and I've made it to New York with my wife. This place is massive. I'm a country boy, so I don't know what we're doing. We're gonna go and get some breakfast because I'm sort of jet lagged a bit. I slept not too great last night, but we're gonna go to Applebee's because it's America and that's what we're gonna do. And then after that, we're gonna go and do a logo hunt whilst checking out everything in New York City. Some of the logos on the shopping malls are awesome. I'm gonna go and have a look at them, gain some inspiration and bring them along to you guys. And you're gonna come with me today. We're gonna to go to the Rockefeller Center. We don't know what's going on. We're gonna look at some logos on the way as well, just to see what goes on and to see if we find anything that inspires us for this week. So let's go that way. Okay, I've just found a logo that I think I really like. It is the Capital One one. It's using elements of a script typeface uh, with a sans serif aspect to it. It's a great way of looking at hierarchy and if you can see a logo that works well from far away, then you're most likely to be able to see it when it's right in front of you and understand it. It just works really well and I really like it. Okay, let's play the game. Name that font. Myriad Pro. That one's an easy one. The chicken strip, that is just brush script. Naomi, you are not a font, so you're okay. Ah, uh, the french fries bit, that's on the tip of my tongue. I'm not too sure what it is yet. Here is Radio City. Something that I've found with logos all around New York so far is that they're all in this sort of sans serif monospaced typeface. Something that I absolutely love is the neon feel to all of this stuff here. Just up the street, there was a bunch of logos on this sort of branded storefront, I think near the Rockefeller Center. I mean, you can see here if I show you. So you've got the Moleskin logo there on top and it's all gold got the other ones here all the way around and they're all in the same color because it's in the same sort of sector. The idea behind logo design is that you can do that is and you can still tell that that is the moleskin logo in itself. So something that I've learned here is that you can change the color of a logo if need be to fit the shopping center that you're at. Here we are, it's Times Square, check that out. I've never seen anything like it. It's so many lights, so many advertisements. If there's anything for the logo challenge or for going and looking for logo designs, it is now. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. It is awesome that I'm here in New York and it is because of you. Just so you know, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is where I build my website. They're a website provider where they can literally give you an easy way of designing having your own website. I sell brushes, I have a contact form when I get all my clients and Squarespace website that I have it's basically my main hub online. If you're a designer or someone who just needs to create a website that's very easy and simple, that doesn't take a wizard to create, then go and click that link down in the description below and get 10% of Squarespace. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow in the next video. See you soon, goodbye.